Well, we spent years looking for a space that could fulfill all of our needs. The building itself is stunning. It's an old 1920s shoe factory. With light coming from multiple different directions, which felt so unique. I find it strange how it's spaces that often weren't designed for living that can make the best living spaces. It was kind of amazing as it was, but as we started to really look at the space, we started to reimagine how it might work for us in terms of being more of a live work space. I had a very uh, small scale ambition for what we'd do, like maybe just a, a tiny little bit of remodeling. And little did we know. Little did we know. <laughs> we were embarking on a year and a half full renovation. Huge source of arguments for couples. Yeah. We survived. We survived. <laughs> It's a strange house and we kind of call it an upside down house and that you come in through the bedroom and then you come up the stairs into the main living space. Big reveal. I remember when Alice's parents first came to the place when we moved in, they sort of looked around and they were like, oh, when are you going to finish the ceilings? <laughs> and we were like, no, this is, this is it, this is brilliant. Like we want it unfinished. And that's what I love about the space as you can see all of its workings. And we love the way the materials felt so tangible, so we have like clay works on the walls, we've worked with concrete, beautiful wood joinery. We ended up splitting the main central living space into three zones, so you have the kitchen on the far end, which has a beautiful large island that sort of everything centres around. Then you have the middle space, which is our like dining area, but also doubles up as a co-working space, so we have our team come and join us there, and I have a desk where I work. And then we have the third space, which is the, the sort of living room. What I love is like when we have friends around, for example, the way we move through the space. So it always starts with cooking the food and people sit at the counter and we're chatting and drinking wine and then we end up sitting and having dinner in the middle of the room and always end up on this gigantic sofa. You know, we've kind of created certain details or elements that are perfect for us. Drawers for our hard drives, which I never thought we could ever have an organized hard drive drawer and it would only give so few people in this world the pleasure that it gives us but also, you know, the prints that surround us were so passionate about photography and I love collecting photography and just to have a space where we're surrounded by the work of our friends and the photographers that we admire. When I look around, it's also really nice to see the flashes of green and we've only kind of finally made it feel like a sense of home by bringing in the millions of plants and, and kind of try and bring nature in. This place really offers sanctuary and a sense of calm. You really feel that you're held within solid, like four walls, and it offers some quiet from what is a really busy area, full of life. For me, one of the joys of being in this space has been also being in the location that we're in and discovering the area. Also in these buildings, you know, it's full of artists and designers and architects and creatives, and there's always shoots going on and like, parties in the evenings and you know like it, it's not a house here we've sort of moved into a community you both have your visions for the space and then it's like to bring you, it to life you put those ingredients together and who knows how it's going to end up and it's actually I feel I think we both feel every time we come into this space that it's us like it really feels like it represents both of our personalities and that is a deeply satisfying feeling to have such a privilege to be able to do a renovation and build a space exactly how you want it and I, I've never felt a sense of home like it in my life, it's really special. <laughs>